When I walked into this scene, I was like, so you guys, let's set the scene. Okay. The actual scene. It's Fashion Week. You guys know Fashion Week is an absolute zoo. I had just left L Accessories, so I was still working for Hamptons, Gotham, and Page Six at the time. So oh. Hamptons is 17 issues, Gotham is 12 issues, um, you know, L Accessories was four, Page Six was um, every week. So it was a, it was a lot of content, and um, you know we were. We had just started filming, so we're doing the show. So, and then I was trying to get the ladies to come to the fashion shows with me. I was like, hey, I'm, gonna, I'm going to these shows. And so Bethany kept canceling all day long. 10 o'clock canceled, 1 o'clock canceled, 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 canceled. And I was just like, okay, when are we going to do this? So then we, did, we, had a, we filmed here at 7 o'clock at night, pouring down rain. I remember the boots. Yeah, the, the boots rain and the boots umbrella. and the umbrella. My youngest daughter was like, Mommy, wear the pink hunter boots. They are so hot. So I'm I like, love fine. it. Do you still have those pink hunter boots and I the do. green dress? I do. I do. The green dress I sold, but the pink hunter boots I still have. Okay. Um, okay. And they're in the car. And I'm like, okay, I have like a window because it's Friday night. I have to get my kids to the Hamptons. Like I'm a mom. Also fashion um, week. Also yeah. fashion week. So I've like, wore, you know, wore like a million hats that day, trying to film with everybody, trying to do like, my, my, all my other jobs. And um, so when I walked in here, I was like, li- I'm not gonna lie, I was a little miffed. And like, yeah. and like, I was late, not because I'm like, hey, I'm so late. I was late because my entire life, my, my kids were in the car and I'm like, okay, I have a certain amount of time to film. Yeah. Let's get this done. And I walked in, so I was irritated to walk in and then I sat down and I swear to God, I mean, maybe just, I'm like so obsessed with television. I swear to God and I was like, I'm sitting across from Alexis Carrington, and I am Crystal. <laughs> the way she looked at me, the hairdo, the whole outfit, I was like, oh my God, I'm on Dallas. That my is, dream you're come it's true. <laughs> my dream come true. And you're like, I have to live this dream. I, I have big shoulders. She's got the hair. I was like. And, and you guys yeah, really Dallas oh, back and forth. I mean, you were straight up well, Dallasing. Well, because I was like, I had a short window to film. You wasted no time. It, and also, it, it, like, it I could tell. I could tell she was like, you're late. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you're like, well, we're not friends, so it doesn't matter. I'm like, yeah. well, we're not friends. <laughs> well, at that point, I was like, we are not friends. I've been waiting for you in the entire day in the rain. Right, you were like, you've been waiting for 30 minutes. I've been waiting for you to RSVP to one of my shows. Right. Yes. Here, cheers. Yes. Cheers. 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 Cheers to being late. To be- yes, cheers to being late. Because <laughs> you know what? You're not late if you make entrances. I feel that's a testament, and you always make an entrance. I also feel, too, talking about the late thing because there's two sides of the late coin so the one side is like you're late with intention you just don't care Mm -hmm. the other side is you're late with so much going on not that my time is more valuable than your time it's just sometimes people run late so it's not like I'm always running late it's just like for things that are like you know it would been all day long and I was trying to like pack everybody up for the Hamptons and my kids are they were two girls under 10 I'm a full-time single parent, like making the bacon, flying up in the pan, yeah. raising the kids. And I was like, I showed up. I actually showed up where she was canceled all day long. Something tells me that Bethany in 2023 would really understand that and vibe with that because now she is the mother of Bryn. Yeah. Uh, she would. You know I think I mean? she would. I think I, that I if, and I always say this, like if, the, the, if we had filmed then and if it was now, mm-hmm. It would have been a totally different scenario. I feel like which is not good because it was such a big scene. I don't like you. I don't think you're funny. I don't think you're charming. I don't. We are not friends. We will never be friends. This this is like, huh. You kind of. You seemed a little confused and a little amused, but you still managed to get those lines in there. I mean, the you're. I'm up here. You're down here. What were you trying to explain to Bethany in that moment? If you could just sort of. Take us back to, to where your mind was. I mean, I think there were two points. First of all, I'm tall, oh. and she's not. So it's literal. So it's okay. a literal okay. thing. Okay. The okay. air is, I'm 5'10", yeah. and the air is very, very light mm-hmm. and um, breezy up here. The pollution is like, there's no pollution. No, but um, what I was saying to her is that, you know, I was in the thick of raising kids. And when you have boys, girls, you know, two parents, one parent, it doesn't matter, like, you know, co-parenting with everybody, a a village of people, you know, your children still rely on you and your number one job as a parent is to teach boundaries. Number one job. Yeah. Because if they don't have boundaries, they're not gonna be successful as humans. Like, yes, you have to feed them. Yes, all those, you know, those, you know, feed them, clothe them, give them, you know, shelter, obviously, those are obvious. But like, after that, your job is to give them boundaries so that they feel safe. 
And so I was giving her boundaries to feel safe. Oh. I was like, you are acting like a child with all of her antics. And I was like, you're down here and I am the parent right now. And I'm gonna say, no, no, bet. And do you feel she was kind of in that because she was like, I think at that time, the only one who wasn't a mom and she was sort of just hustling, young, running around, like everything you, you kind of just want to be like, baby, breathe in, breathe out. Like you were trying to, you were trying to almost like be her mom. <laughs> Alex, breathe in, yeah. breathe out. I feel like I'm always the parent, you like are. constantly. I'm like the mother hen of housewife. You, you 100% are, I wish you were our mother, Kelly Ben Simone. Oh. I just love you guys. No, but I, I mean, I, you know, it's so funny because looking back, when I filmed it, I didn't mean to be so brazen. I was just in a bad mood and it was just so much going on. And she kind of caught me off guard. Mm -hmm. um, if, it, if she had been my best friend, if she had been like one of my closest friends and I was late, I would have been like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. Like, but the way that she looked at me was so like, she was ready for reality TV. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, like it's time to, it's game time.